what was the overarching goal of this, of this project was again to provide a decision support system. It's something that a company or a manager or an executive could use to help them justify investment in sustainable technologies to upper management. Right, so if Coca-Cola wants to invest in hybrid trucks, uh, is that a right thing to do? Well, let's use our decision support tool here and then we, we will show that it's actually a good idea or it's not a good idea. Um, in terms of, um, so, you know, it used to be that these kinds of things are always done, um, are frequently done, not always, but are frequently done, these kinds of, of decisions are frequently done using, uh, or frequently made using some sort of a net present value analysis, you know, initial investment versus operating uh, cost savings on the future. It turns out that this is not straightforward in our case because the, the, although the investment is clear cut, a diesel truck costs about 60000 and a hybrid truck, including the battery replacement cost, costs about 94000 So it's 30, 30, it's 50% more expensive. And the operating cost savings depends on the diesel prices, but diesel prices fluctuate over time. So we need to have a tool that, that acknowledges this fluctuation and models that in a way that's realistic, you know, the, a realistic model of diesel prices. Of course, nobody can predict what diesel prices will be, but based on past observations of diesel prices, we can calibrate a stochastic model that shows how they, you know, what is a reasonable behavior for, for these diesel prices over time. Um, and, and so we can generate under every possible realization of diesel prices, what, is, what would the company do? And, and then I can take the expectation of those, all those possible realizations and make a decision right now showing me what to do at, at each point in time. So our research incorporates this, this uh, stochasticity of diesel prices. It incorporates uh, demand uncertainty as well, because demand can be random, as well as seasonality. And the other thing we do also is we also incorporate the fact that the more you use a particular truck, let's say a, a, a hybrid truck, then you know that, that truck will deteriorate more quickly, right? So the heavier the usage, the, the, you know, the heavier the deterioration. So we incorporate that aspect as well into our decision support. So all of, this, all of these realistic things are incorporated in our model and, and, and we can, uh, it's a nice decision support system for companies to use. So what were the sources of data for our project were the following. There were really two sources. One was, well, three sources. One was the diesel prices themselves. So we got these, the Department of Energy has a website that has uh, weekly or monthly diesel prices, whichever time bucket you want, they have the average across the US. So we use those to, do a, to run our nonlinear regression to come up with the uh, parameters of the mean reverting process for diesel prices. As far as demand, we got demand from Coca-Cola for one particular city. <laughs> it was one, one large city in the US. And so, but we wanted to run the model in a national scale. So we kind of assumed that the seasonal factors for that city were similar across other cities. We knew Coca-Cola's demand, um, let's say for the top four distributors uh, in terms of cases per year, but we want to translate that into demand over time at month of the year, and we didn't have that data. So what we did is we had this data for one city that they gave us, and we used that city as representative of the other cities to come up with the seasonal factors. That's what was one challenge. We had to kind of use one city as a model for the other cities. Um, the data was very good. It was very clean. It had, uh, it, it had the weekly data for two or three years uh, for the demand for that particular city was no problem. The diesel prices data was fine. Uh, it was also in good shape. Um, we also have maintenance cost data we got from Coca-Cola and they just gave us a number, five cents per mile per truck, something. Uh, data about the costs of, uh, of diesel trucks versus AGV, we also got that from them, 60,000 versus 94,000 including the battery replacement cost. Um, so that, that, was not, that was not actually a very challenging part. I guess the only real challenging part was, really challenging part was the demand data. What was the kinds of analytic techniques we used so many. Uh, we used, first of all, we used a simple uh, multilinear regression model um, 
to, to come up with a model of the demand. Okay, so we have this, this model of demand for Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's demand is highly seasonal, okay? So we have to come up with the seasonal factors for the demand for Coca-Cola. So we just regress the Coca-Cola's demand over time and with one seasonal factor for each, one, each month of the year, so we come up with the seasonal factors for each one of the, of the months. We used nonlinear regression to calibrate the model of diesel prices. So we took uh, diesel price data for three years, between 2009 and 2012, in weekly buckets, so average over the week across the U.S. And there is this model called, uh, of, it's standard in the financial literature, in the energy modeling literature, it's called the mean reverting process. And basically it looks at how the diesel prices move over time and you have to calibrate that model. So we use nonlinear regression to calibrate the parameters of the model. So there are three parameters. One is volatility, the other is mean reverting coefficient, and the other is the long-term diesel price. So uh, we use nonlinear regression for that. And the, but the critical part was the, the decision model. The decision model is used optimization techniques, stochastic optimization techniques. Not only that, but dynamic stochastic optimization techniques that models the what, because you know, your decision today has an impact on your decisions tomorrow. So these dynamic models take that into account and it's stochastic, that means it accounts for uh, uncertainties in diesel prices, uncertainties in demand. And we use this technique called stochastic dynamic programming to model that decision model and come up with an optimal solution. Um, but even the optimal solution has kind of two steps. One is that we found uh, theoretically what's the, the theoretical structure of the optimal solution. And that's called this uh, ISD policy, invest, disinvest, and stay put. We show that the optimal solution can be described in terms of four curves on the uh, X, Y axis. And that's a theoretical result, so we had to use, uh, you know, proof, uh, real analysis, and so forth to show that. And then we use that result to populate our program that, um, that calculates the, uh, numerically for any company or any situation, let's say l given Coca-Cola's data of demand and, and so forth, what is the specific portfolio for Coca-Cola? How many diesel trucks they should buy? How many hybrid trucks they should buy? When diesel price is, at f is $4.10 and the demand was 20 uh, truckloads. So I can, I can I can give you that numerical answer using this program that uses the structure, the analytical structure of the optimal policy that we showed theoretically. 